Welcome back to the AP Yagami Show. So today we're gonna get into uh, Young Miami versus DJ Academics because he ran his mouth about the situation between her and Diddy. So go ahead, subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my video, comment, tell me what y'all think so we can get into this shit. So DJ Academics took to his Twitch account to uh, talk about the situation between Young Miami and Diddy, and he decided to break down the relationship and what he felt like, what it was, and what it really ain't. And this is what he said, y'all. So hilarious, just watching all of these chicks. Like, everybody who's been preaching the city girl this, city girl that, a city girl these days is just a low, esteemed, uh, a low self-esteem chick, bro. You get me? A city girl is just a placeholder on a roster. Let's keep it a beat. You feel me? Um, I love to see what's going on in society now. All of that city girl, hot girl, icy girl stuff has come to an end. And it's all took the same thing that people have preached for decades, man. You know what I mean? A woman start making a little bit of money. She thinks she a boss, she a boss, she a boss, whatever, whatever, until she meet a nigga who got a bigger back. And Diddy is a chick to really end all that shit. So Diddy has, um, if you don't know, so... Um, Young Miami is like Diddy's side chick, like one of them, like a bunch. He like he got like about like eight, nine. You know what I mean? Um, she's like one of the. Okay, maybe I shouldn't call her a side chick because you know everybody would be like, yo, how could she be a side if she'd have made? She's one. She she's a she's on the roster. <laughs> yo, women. Yo, women try to get technical all the time. No, I can't be. A, I, I can't be a side chick. You know, no, we're all single. Like you know, they try to. They, they, you know, they try to like word semantic you to death. I'm not a side chick. He's single. I'm single. We're the we're we're fat, bruh. You're a side chick, bro. Like I don't give a fuck what you talking about. Like, <laughs> yo, you're a side chick, bro. Like stop playing, bro. Like yo, hey, what? they try to word some. No, no, we're, no you're a bro. If you on my roster, you're a side chick. Even if I don't got a main girl. <laughs> Us, listen, the difference between, and to keep it real, a roster, it might even sound better to be on a roster than, than being a side chick. Because the side chick just say you're second best. A roster, we don't know where you fall in the lineage. So anyway, all these chicks are coping. Did he smashing like 10 chicks, bro? 10 chicks viciously. Diddy's really on some Nick Cannon shit. You should have knew once that nigga changed his name to Brother Love. He's trying to change hoeing around. He's like, nah, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just spreading love. I'm just spreading love. No, nigga, you spreading semen. That nigga's spreading that community dick. <laughs> nigga. These chicks pH balance got it. Yo, they, yo, they shit, they shit got to be right now frazzled. But it's all good because... Diddy's just showing us that all these women that was acting like they're plain men, we don't hear about no roster they got. We only hear about Diddy roster. Anyway, um, he announced, he says, yo, I'm so blessed to welcome my baby girl, love Sean Combs to the world. Mama Combs, Quincy, Justin Christian Chance, Delilah, J Jesse, and myself all love you so much. God is the greatest. Then they didn't mention one side chick. Salute to Diddy, man. Diddy, the first nigga to ever have a side baby on his side bitches. I've never seen this before. This is great. Yo, all the side chicks arguing about, yo, 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 no, he was talking about me on that caption. No, no, he got me a car. No, 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 no. I was at the award show. No, I was rubbing his feet. I was sucking them bunions. No. <laughs> Y'all are all glorified babysitters, man. That's what y'all need to do. The next Carisha anthem going to be about changing diapers. Stop fucking capping. Y'all, so after Young Miami got a whiff of that, <laughs> she went to Twitter and said, I'm nobody's side, bitch. Let's just make this clear on this good Monday. I don't come second to no bitch. Okay, okay, Young Miami. So then she tweeted, academics, my name ain't dick, so keep it out your mouth. You the type of nigga my uncle do life, <laughs> my uncle doing life sentences for, bitch ass nigga. Wow. 
wow child then she said you sit your fat scary ass in the house all day online come outside police ass booty boy <laughs> You know what? This is just too much energy for DJ Academics. It's just too much for me. So then she tweeted, Diddy won't even look half of y'all bitches way. Majority of y'all praying upon a fallen star, bitch, please. Now, mind you, you know that the news came out about uh, Diddy's new baby mama. They just had a baby. They say she had the baby back in October. Um, and the news came out today of who she was or whatever so i don't know if this got something to do with why young miami is talking about she don't go sick of, you know no bitch and and how bitches don't look at her and, and bitches can't touch her and all this other shit but she did also tweet on her twitter page she was like um the next episode of carisha please is coming out today so maybe all of this shit is um publicity i really don't know but she is like she is really on a rant okay so y'all dj academics responded to her and he said misdirected anger brother love wouldn't approve of this behavior i ain't the one that had a side baby on y'all relax now he being real fucking shady he being real fucking shady so he tweets nick cannon would never be having a mental breakdown the day he announces a new baby i'm just saying straighten up y'all be knowing what y'all sign up for so she responded to him and she said who having a mental breakdown you talking on you talking on me punk it's the fact that she called this man a punk and she laying up with one but we ain't even gonna get into that so uh he said i'm not trying to argue with you i'm i'm praying for your healing because right now you sound like someone who found out the news via tmz just like everybody else i'll send prayers love you hun Ooh -wee. and then she wrote back she said you don't even believe that he really ate her ass up to be honest and i feel like what he's talking about as far as the mental breakdown is when they announced the news that that uh did it had a baby she posted this photo of the viral uh the, the viral right couple over there when he, she was like that hurt his feelings and he cried all night so that's uh, yeah so somebody pointed this shit out a day ago so yeah i guess everything is calmed down y'all this is all i have to say about this damn situation comment tell me what y'all think like the video bye